the EOS EVM is launching this month. There's been uh, some more documentation shared. There's the getting started section. There's the faucet, which is new from this week. So you can just grab some EOS tokens on the testnet for the EOS EVM. And there is a Telegram group as well with almost 400 people in it already talking about EOS EVM. The faucet's the most popular DAP. Denny added a little analytic piece of text that shows how many uh, transactions per hour are being pushed through the faucet to showcase the speed. So there's different parameters of the faucet. There's things like a cooldown. There's You could have a CAPTCHA to stop bots. You could give a bunch of EOS at a time or you can give one EOS at a time. And the strategy behind this particular faucet was to showcase the speed and performance of the EVM. So rather than giving like 100 EOS of resources, you get one at a time. So if you need 100 EOS, you got to click that button 100 times. And what's cool about that is you're able to actually see how fast the EVM actually is. You could look on the block explorer and see it, or you could just trust the front end interface that says success. So either way you want to look at it, you could look at the block explorer if you want to trust the chain, or you could just trust the front end, but it's super performant, super smooth, super fast. There's great feedback over the weekend. The t- Nobody involved with this project stops o- over the weekend. And then he was just firing out all these great ideas. That's just the one off the top of my head I remember. But I think every change to the faucet that happened since it launched on Friday was all pretty much Denny. Very cool. So do I just need to put any Ethereum address into this yeah, faucet? any public key. It could be the same public key that you use for Ethereum. You just need to change the RPC endpoints in your MetaMask settings, just like you would uh, jumping between like Polygon and Ethereum. It's no different. You just set the endpoint to EOCVM. That's in the docs. It's in the most recent blog. And then it just works. Put your public key in and ask for EOS. And then once you have the EOS, you could transfer it to another account or you could try out the frog swap or there's, you remember the other swap. There's two swaps live now. If you want to try finding all of the test apps, um, you could start looking for token contracts. If you could find the token contracts through the block explorer, that'll lead you to pretty much all of the test applications going on right now. The other thing worth testing, even without a DAP, is the bridge. One of the biggest pieces of feedback we've received, and we knew firsthand going into it, so it wasn't really a surprise, is there's friction creating an EOS account. It's one of the bigger priorities going on in the background with the ENF. One of the biggest issues with onboarding token holders into EOS, especially in the current environment where no one wants to keep a large amount of money on a centralized exchange. One of the biggest hurdles to growing the ecosystem has been getting people to go from speculators or token holders holding some assets on an exchange to being people who actually use the chain. And the need and requirement for a full native EOS account is completely absent with the EVM. You could transfer tokens both inbound and outbound without ever touching a native EOS account, without ever understanding what net RAM or CPU you are, All you need to know is that it costs you about 0.01 EOS to cross the bridge and send your tokens either to or from the EVM, to or from uh, a native EOS account or a centralized exchange. So whenever you're withdrawing from a centralized exchange, say you're on Binance, you bought a couple thousand EOS tokens, you want to send them to the EVM to play in some DeFi. All you do is you withdraw your tokens, and this is once it's live, don't do it right now. Withdraw tokens to EOSIO.EVM. And then in the memo field, you just copy and paste your Ethereum public key, and then you hit withdraw. A few minutes later, or instantly, if depending on the exchange, you will see those EOS tokens on your MetaMask wallet. And you could do the opposite. The opposite requires a front-end interface for the bridge, and the links to that are in all of the documentation and on the blog. If you want to send tokens from the EOS EVM to Binance, then... You simply use the front end for the bridge and you sign in with your MetaMask wallet and then you put in the EOS account name, so Binance Cleos. And then in the memo field, you put your memo, whatever your typical idea is for Binance, and you hit send. The tokens go from the EOS EVM to native EOS to Binance. You never need to touch a native EOS account. Pretty simple, just going to the bridge front end. You should be able to figure it out. But one of the things that will be published before the... EVM launch will actually be just a guide that just shows how easy it is. And then that would be a reference that if someone's new to EOS, it'll be basically the document that 
myself or anyone in the community will share with that person in the public chats or if they just find our documentation. It's super easy.